All right, shalom, shalom, out the boys here. Well, uh, out here, as usual, it's been a very productive week getting after it. And uh, what we have here is the spreading of the sweet potatoes. Now, uh, one of the uh, things that I tried to grow last year was sweet potatoes. And they didn't come out too well. And I think it's due to the fact that I just didn't add enough nutrients to the soil. But in addition to that... Uh, you know, I have grown nice sweet potatoes the, the, the year before that we were able to get a nice bumper crop, but last year I wasn't able to, uh, get the yield that I wanted. And so what I did is I went ahead and, uh, like I said in the ev previous videos, we went and got some, some good, uh, 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 dirt, uh, uh, from the, uh, municipal, uh, department where, you know, they cut down the trees and stuff and they have a whole bunch of compost and they just give it out, uh, for a small fee. So, um, and the uh, reason why I found out about that is that somebody we were building a, a little barn for, uh, he showed me sweet potatoes. I mean, they were the size of two people's feet. And uh, he gave me uh, some stock from last year. Uh, and so uh, th this is the game right here is to, you know, just duplicate what I saw over there and get a nice yield going on. Now, basically what I did uh, here is just disrupt the soil a little bit so that the uh, weeds don't get too much a, a hold of it. But the beautiful thing about the sweet potatoes is that once they grow, the vines grow all around. And it'll grow up these little uh, areas right here and just fill this up. But uh, you don't have to worry about uh, the weeding anymore because uh, uh, no uh, uh, light will get to uh, the uh, under foliage. It'll just primarily affect the... Uh, uh, sweet potatoes and to promote their growth as well so uh, this is what's going on with the sweet potatoes and uh, what I, one of the things that I did also was start some uh, uh, corn plants in here and then I transplanted them over here so let me go ahead and show you where I was able to plant the corn and uh, the reason why now you see, well, I'll show you what I'm doing with that in another video, but I'm getting them to clean out all of the areas uh, surrounding the raised beds so, uh, you know, I don't have to do any de-weeding uh, up underneath there. How am I getting to do that? I'm just spreading feed. Uh, so, uh, and that keeps that area clean uh, over there. And that's uh, another good reason, uh, you know, have some chickens is that, you know, they'll scratch and clear out those uh, areas that you don't want. All right. But uh, on to this area, as you know, previously all of this was filled with uh, uh, wood. And basically what I did was go ahead and lit a fire to it. And it burned down all of this uh, wood here, um, the, the wood that was in here. And what I'm basically doing is putting black plastic over these areas because uh, this area is coordinated off. And I can run a fence from here to here. And uh, I'll create another garden spot or garden because this area gets a lot of good sun uh, during uh, mid-morning and, and oral afternoon in the evening. So uh, this is what I plan on doing uh, over here is uh, plant something a little nice and, you know, again, turning this into a little garden area. Uh, or I can put uh, uh, a, uh, a structure here. I haven't decided which one, uh, but most likely I'll probably go with a garden area. But... As you see over here, we have our corn uh, put in. Now, basically, you know, you know, with corn, uh, you know, each corn stock is going to give you uh, probably two or three head of corn. So, uh, you know, with uh, a couple of families, this is going to be more than enough uh, to provide some corn. And, uh, and again, you got to store it all. So the, the name of the game is to definitely, I've been talking about this freezer. I definitely got to get it to the freezer by the time. Uh, harvest time comes in but there's time for that and uh, I'll go ahead and get it used but the idea is that you know you plant the corn uh, over here and now I've turned this whole area into uh, another planting uh, uh, bed you see that so I will uh, uh, right over there we'll plant some uh, well we'll transplant some melon and some watermelon and some cannibal plants over there and have them grow and I have a uh, a nice little ingenious way of uh, 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 getting them off the ground so that they grow, but uh, they're not touching the ground. And I'll use one of those that you see in there 
uh, those cattle panels. I'll put uh, some uh, um, uh, two by fours or, or six by sixes, something like this, and I'll put it over there. And so uh, I'll put it, put it, the cattle panels over this. And uh, what'll happen is that the the vine will grow up a little bit, catch on to the uh, the cattle panel, and then we'll continue to grow across it. And any uh, fruit we could just prop up right onto the uh, cattle panel. So it's not uh, exposed to the ground because, you know, once that stuff hits the ground, it starts to rot on the uh, uh, other side unless you don't get it. So uh, what we have here is the burns remains of uh, the wood that was left over here. So the name of the game again is to uh, just brush all of this to the side as I continue uh, to plant uh, in this area. And uh, what I'm doing is uh, just go ahead and digging individual holes instead of planting entire or just tilling the area. Just dig the individual holes and then put that in the hole with some dirt like I did uh, over here. So I didn't have to till, uh, but at the same time, the area was clean uh, from the uh, burn. So the name of the game is uh, they are doing very well now. I see them standing up. They've all practically taken from the... Uh, from the um, uh, transplant so that's working well and uh, it's about the rain well it is raining it just hasn't I'm standing on a bunch of trees so it hasn't hit me yet but uh, that's the name of the game here uh, this is what's going on in terms of uh, uh, planting season and we got some echinacea that's we're going to be transplanting coming in uh, a lot of little things going on so we'll keep you posted we'll get out of this rain shalom